Hello everybody, Russell Gittner here. Well, this is going to be a tutorial video. I'm uh, helping a gentleman out here recently that's tried to mod his Xbox, put some emulators on there, and now he's to the point that he wants to upgrade the hard drive in his Xbox. And uh, so I'm going to make a video here for him and it's for anybody else who wants to use it too. Uh, how to, I guess, I'm put a larger hard drive inside your Xbox. So this is going to be part one of the video and this is just how to uh, make this the CD to run that you'll need to install a larger hard drive. The first thing you're going to need to do is obviously uh, once you mod your original Xbox before you even put a larger drive in it, you're going to need to mod it and uh, then you'll need to FTP into the drive <coughs> excuse me and you're going to need to pull what they call the EEPROM folder out the EEPROM folder is this right here um, inside that EEPROM folder you'll see backup um, evox.ini and evox-xbe uh, and inside the backup folder you'll see bios.bin, disk.bin, eprom.bin, and you know, so on and so forth. Uh, the big file you'll need to add to this before you actually create the uh, ISO is this eprom.bin. Uh, the thing is, is the eprom.bin is, is like a key. Every Xbox has its own eprom. It's a 64 digit code. It's none of them are the same. So I want you your hard drive goes bad, you're, you're screwed without this EEPROM uh, .bin unless you want to pay for an EEPROM reader. But, so, when you mod an Xbox, I highly suggest it. Back up EEPROM .bin, uh, FTP it out of your Xbox, you know, transfer it out of your Xbox, save it somewhere else, make, and have it on hand in case your hard drive is bad and you need to put a new hard drive in it and or you want to upgrade your hard drive in this case what this gentleman wants to do so what we're going to do here is and I'll put a I'll put a place where you can download this at I'll zip it up but it's a it's Xbox hard drive maker it's in here first thing you want to do is you want to go under Linux and EEPROM open that up then you want to go over to your EEPROM folder you want to open that up You want to click on your backup, and there's your EEPROM right there. Right click on it, click copy, right click, paste. Paste it over to that there. Once you do that, this, what I'm doing here is making, this is actually this gentleman's EEPROM. So what he's watching here is me make his disk for him. Now the next thing you want to do is back out here back out here and then you're gonna see make ISO slash win dot bin or dot bat excuse me so I'll run this batch file and when it runs it it'll create an ISO and with that ISO you can make your disk and this disk but I, I like doing it this way because it'll create a disk just for that Xbox so when you go to create another drive, it's going to say, okay, where's the uh, EEPROM.bin? Well, in this case, it won't even ask that because it's already on the disk. But it, So what you'll do here, you'll click on it. Whoops. You want to run it. Go ahead and run it. And as you see here, you can't see it because I, I got split screens. But on the my left screen here, it popped up a box and it shows it creating. And when it's done, it'll create this Linux.iso. That's what you want to burn to a disk, is that Linux.iso. Once you're done there, you're just gonna, I use ImageBurn. There's tons of uh, uh, 
image uh, softwares out there. I use ImageBird. I like it. Um, yeah, new version available not right now. Okay. Anyway, you're going to write an image to a disk. So you're going to click on this. You're going to select your file. And of course, I know my files on my desktop, and it's <coughs> right under here, Xbox HDM. And there's my Linux ISO. Open. And I don't got a disk in there right now, but in a minute I will. And you'll click right here. It says right. Click on it. Let it burn. And that's it. <coughs> that will make a bootable uh, CD. Meaning what you will do is you'll put that disk in your uh, computer. You'll make sure that in your BIOS or it's already set you know your boot devices are set the first thing it's going to boot is your CD-ROM and it'll boot right to that CD and everything's on there that you'll need and really guys it's it's that simple to make make this disk so with that being said I'm going to stop the video here and uh, later on I'll I'll get on I gotta I'll get on more to uh, modding actually showing you how to build a uh, a hard drive from scratch using this method but uh, anyway guys stay tuned there will be more to come and everybody have a great day